Arado Shapranda Kala Pratesa Debegata Lift up your voice and pray in one minute and say, Lord, whatever has held my life, whatever has held my destiny, please be serious tonight. Please. The word of the Lord go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Lift your voice and pray. Go and tell Pharaoh. Go and tell poverty, let my people go. Go and tell delay and hardship. Go and tell yokes and spells that have held the destinies of men for generations. Announce to them. Go and tell them, let my people. I acknowledge they are my people. Pray. There is a reason why you are praying. Zubre teka paratos kalabrande geba se prahaseyada. Ledesh kaprande skaproto zubre dige balatia. Let my people go. Let my people go. Zabros kabariande ko shalabai. Let my people go. Sabros kato rishabarianda kapras kalabadia. Libro zoso preti ge shabratis kalabaria takuria sambradishila. Exodus chapter ten, verse seven. Ten verse 7 we are reading down to 10 please hurry up media help us and Pharaoh's servant said unto him how long shall this man be a snare unto you let the men go that they may do what this is the reason why they have to go there is a motif for liberty there is a motif for prosperity there is a motif for advancement he said let my people go that they may go and keep it there please and serve the lord their god then he says knowest thou not that egypt is destroyed read on next verse eight and moses said unto and moses and aaron were brought again to pharaoh and he said unto them go serve the lord your god but then he began to negotiate he said but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened he says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks and with our herd he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move 
so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men would come with the head of the king or drag him together and they would sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they will gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go I want the people to serve me but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do I've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in Lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel will arise with an outstretched arm i i told you what the lord told me here while i was praying he said trust me and watch your situation turn around it doesn't take time it only takes faith when you trust god he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you tell my people please sit down as always you have a role to play everyone listen to me the role you have to play is your commitment to serving god listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave egypt and live your life your own way at your own terms no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank god for prayer thank god for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful i will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of israel to serve god listen god will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of god this is where many christians authorize satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are egypt 
and the lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say lord i am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books i want to buy the books are we together i can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and god says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me god says that's the kind of prayer that i like i say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for god and to serve him are we together versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us god wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters it says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life it says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you that um, you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable there are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you death sentences given by doctors some of you are holding it and wondering can god change it there are many of us in situations that only god in heaven you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive but there is a god in heaven brothers and sisters you are gathered tonight before that god in heaven there are men who are held in bondage god has anointed and called them but the doors of ministry will never open you know why because many of them don't want to serve god doing ministry is not serving god no sir make no mistakes about it you're a man of god here pay close attention Let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry you can be anointed praying in tongues raising the dead all that is stories if your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom forget about all of these things most people want power when you see a man of god walking in the anointing when you see crowds when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry many people admire they want it you see god has no problem giving it but your motive your motive your motive oh god give me twins god says even if you want 10 i can give you what is your motive let me tell you something 
this issue of committal to serve God this committal to follow and pursue hard after God is a big secret a big secret the justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm let my people go oh lord change my financial status god says i can it is within my power but what for and he said god i'm just tired of poverty god says that's not enough reason that's if i give you too much money with no assignment it will kill you it will destroy you the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them lord give me a crowd of thousands of people make me a man of influence lord let people love me let me just be a celebrity and god says it's all within my power justify your reason and he says lord i came from a background of inferiority god says so what that's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace but when a man's heart becomes resolute lord grant me finances so that one day i will override the building of your house god says you want to do this for me and then you quote his scripture back for the sake of thy house i desire thy prosperity and god says that's it you've satisfied the condition to see my hand lord heal my body i want to serve in your house but the department i want to join requires energy and lord i have found out that i have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs and god says who gave you that condition the moment anything stands between you and serving god it has become god's enemy is god's own fight let me tell you how to join god and satan you service let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back and god says whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy including a man are we together now when he when 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 the captain of the host of israel appeared before joshua he said are you for us or against you? he said all that is nonsense whoever is on god's side is the person i'm for if you are against god i strike you if you are for god we are a team god is not a christian god is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established that you're a christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of god your heart is god preaching to someone tonight lord i want you to launch me far i want you to change my life you have said it's the year of triumph and god says it's not a lie brother there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in leave all this kindergarten visions here and there there are superior dimensions but your motif you, you pray for 40 days but your motif corrupts it from day one and God says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and I will not release Do you know my 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 project with God is to come to a point where God is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me I want to get to that level of trust with God where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is God's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question god is asking lord i used to sing well but then i had an infection that destroyed my voice 
and God says but I've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and God says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motif is not intact forget about the experience of the power of God are we together now say Lord say it everybody Lord I declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me I vow to serve you with my life 